top 10 reasons why you can't miss this year's Mille Lacs County Fair. We are here with Michelle McPherson, who is the president of the board of the fair. Before we get into that, let's hear about what day this starts and what times and how much it costs to get into the fair. All right, uh, so the fair is August 9th through the 13th. Yep. Uh, we open at high noon on the 9th and we go all the way through four o'clock on Sunday. It's $5 per day, but you can buy a multi-day armband for $10. So $10 gets you all five days. Correct, and it gets you all kinds of free entertainment, bands, the car, not the carnival, the animals, all the food vendors, open class. There's just too many things that we provide for $10 that it's just, you gotta come back every day. Really cool, and this, yeah. I, and I can tell you right now because when I walked in, I grabbed this handy dandy brochure that has a map and it has the ev list of events for all five days of this extravaganza. That's right. And follow you guys on Facebook because I've been following you, and I, I'm getting ex excited about all the events you talk about. Correct. Uh, we have events for schedule of events and dates for all of our events on Facebook and. The full schedule for both the fair and 4-H is on our, on our website. All right, let's get into it. All right, Michelle, tell us 10 reasons why people cannot miss the fair this year. All What's right. your number one? Number one, the brand new entertainment pavilion. Tell us about it. We're here well, in the pavilion. Yep. We're sitting in this beautiful pavilion. It's 60 by 60, it's open air. We can have the kitty pedal tractor pull races. We have the bands. They're now protected from the rain and the wind and the sun. It's insulated so they won't compete with the sounds of the demo derby and the racetrack. And I think it's going to be great. Awesome. Okay, yeah. number two. Number two, ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. We have the best deal on the fairgrounds or ever. Um, we serve ice cream, one scoop and two scoops, and we're also doing root beer floats. Ooh, that'll be a big hit. Yes. All right, number three. Uh, number three is uh, Emotion in Motion, a new vendor sponsored and funded by the uh, East Central Regional Arts Commission. Tana will be able to explain it a little better, but it'll be, it's an interactive thing and it'll be fun. Cool, all yeah. right, number four. Number four, llamas and all the other animals that are here. Everybody loves llamas. Everybody loves llamas. What kind of animals, are there any new animals this year? Or? No, we have this, the good old, uh, good old fashioned traditional 4-H um, animals, yeah. uh, llamas, chickens, ducks, uh, mini horses, big horses, cattle, swine. What about babies? There might be babies. Oh. I've heard that there's a baby llama that might be here. Make so, all right, come see the animals for sure. Number six, new to us, Sunday in the grandstand, redneck races, which imagine BMX biking, moguls and, and hills and obstacles only with cars. Trucks, small cars, big cars, minivans, SUVs. Fun. Yes. All right, number seven. Number seven is the pre-tractor pull tractor parade. We have asked a number of Mille Lacs County residents to bring their tractors, um, antique tractors, and we're gonna parade them on the Speedway track and there'll be a presentation about the history of the tractor whether it was restored, who might have used it, what it was used for, very educational. It's a free event. Uh, people can sit in the grandstand and enjoy that. That's at three o'clock on uh, Thursday afternoon. On Thursday, and I heard free. Free, also. yes, All we right. have lots of free things. Yes, number nine. Number nine, the open class exhibits. All of your friends and family, they work really hard during the year. They crochet things, they do needlepoint, they, grow vegetables and flowers and they enter them to get pride of class. So first, second, and third ribbons, sometimes grand champions, sometimes reserve grand champions, all in the home and arts building. Cool. And number 10. Number 10. I just think number 10 is all of the free things you can get for a $5 a day armband or $10 armband for the entire week. You can come and go and you can see all sorts of free bands, free music, you can participate in art projects. So I think that's, that's my number 10. All right. 
So there you have it, the top 10 reasons why you can't miss the fair this year. Um, let's talk about when it opens. It opens on August 9th, correct? Correct. This is a Wednesday. At it is noon. at noon, high noon. Okay. Yep, and uh, we are going through four o'clock on Sunday, August 13th. All right. And a big question I know for all the little kids and stuff is that they're gonna, uh, people wanna know about when Armband Day is and when that big carnival starts. They'll start at six o'clock on Thursday go through Sunday and armbands are on Friday and Saturday and armbands cost $25. $25 and Correct. that's all you can ride during that certain period. Correct. Noon to four on Friday and Saturday and six to 10 on Friday and Saturday. All right. And so the fair actually starts on the 9th, which is uh, Wednesday. And there's lots, there's still lots to do even though the carnival's not here for kids. Correct. But we have um, in lieu of carnival rides, we have um, Granite City Jump, They'll okay. be providing inflatables, so there are lots of uh, inflatables for the kids to enjoy. Cool, and then they can go see all the animals and still lots of stuff. Come for lunch, come for dinner, come for cotton candy. Yep, go on a trolley ride. We'll have uh, uh, pulled by antique tractors. We'll have a trolley that will go around the fair and they can take a ride. The kids really love that. All right, so I'm gonna ask you one more question before we get the uh, entertainment director on. What is your favorite thing about the fair this year? Or what are you most excited about? Um, I'm actually most excited about seeing the Emotion in Motion art, uh, interactive art project. I'll be interested to see how much the kids and even maybe some young adults get into the whole art. The artist is during uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Okay. Oh, Wednesday through Saturday. <laughs> um, and uh, different times, you can check the schedule on our website or follow us on Facebook and get all the details about all the different things that are too many to number to name in this pro podcast. All right, and I grabbed this huge brochure that you can grab at the fair office when you come into the gates. There will be a map and it gives you the schedule of all five days. Yep. All right, well, thank you, Michelle. We are thank gonna you. bring on Tana yep. next to tell us about entertainment. So right. thank you. Thank you. All right, we are back with Tana, who is the Director of Entertainment here for the Mille Lacs County Board of Directors, and she is gonna tell us about all the new and exciting things that she has brought to the fair this year. Oh, well, there's quite a bit to choose from. I, I work with all of our bands that we bring in, and so this year we have coming in um, on Friday, we have Monroe Wright, and he does Memory of the Mills Brothers. So if you like the old time music, he'd be a great one to come see on Friday um, morning. Um, we have a local band called Stifle Band of Brothers. They're out of Foley, I believe it is, or up that direction here. Oh, okay. Yeah, local. And so they're gonna be on Friday evening, starting at seven okay. on our stage. On um, Thursday, I backed up a little bit, but we have Chopper, he's a perennial favorite. Oh, yeah. And he brings a lot of tunes. The kids love to dance to him and he just brings a lot of props and he's a lot of fun. Does he still bring his, like, uh, the front of his yeah, car? Yeah, he usually and... does, yes. Okay, yeah, that's so a staple of Chopper, chopper. yep. Exactly. Seen him at weddings yeah. and... So um, that's Thursday and then the, everything Thursday else is Friday. Friday. Okay. And then on um, Saturday night, we have a band called Jacuzzi P Puma. And so they're out of the Twin Cities. Okay. Um, we saw them entertain at our fair convention earlier this year when we chose them as a band to come here. And I think they'll be a lot of fun and entertaining, kind of pop and rock, a very upbeat group, I expect, so. Sounds fun. And the bands are all no charge. There's no cover or anything right. for that? Yep, that's, they're covered when you pay for your gate admission. So okay. you can have a lot of entertainment. And like Michelle mentioned, if you come back on the, the $10 daily or for every day pass, and you can come see all of the entertainment yeah. every single day you of the fair. You can't beat that. No, and you I, can't. And you know what we didn't mention earlier is that six and under are free. Yep. So yep. for kids six and under, there's no admission to the fair any of the days. And you know, that $10 deal is a steal. It is a steal. That's yeah, amazing. It really is. Yeah. You can't, you can't go to the movies and eat and enjoy all that for that. <laughs> all right, so we've covered the bands. What, what other entertainment is happening here? So um, Michelle mentioned that we have Emotion in Motion, and that's a splatter painting activity. We also have a couple of art hands-on type things. Okay. And so we have, um, in our commercial building, we have a group called Arts Garden Art for All, and they do hands-on activities that the kids can do and try while they're here. They're here during the day. Okay. On the south end of the grounds, we have Blue Horse Theater, and so they do performance art with the horses, and then often they're doing some artwork with that, which is kind of cool, and sometimes there's coloring pages that the kids can do. So they have a lot of different fun things down there. 
Um, let's see, what else do we have coming up? Some, oh, on uh, Thursday in the morning, we have Treasure Beyond Measure. So Curly the Pirate is going to be here. Okay. So he'll be up here in the stage area. He'll be fun to see. We also have Dr. Street, who's going to be doing some shows during the fair, as well as strolling the grounds. And he'll be here from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. So you can see him. Cool. We have a gal coming who's going to be drawing caricatures. And she'll be here on Friday and Saturday on in the evening from like six to eight on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we have a gal who's doing face painting. So those are all activities that they can Super come, enjoy, thing. and they're free, no charge. Okay, and I always, you know, I think about fairs. I mean, so many things come to mind and food, of course, is one of them, but um, talent shows, is there a talent show? We have a talent show and it's always been very popular. It's five o'clock on Saturday and we love um, for the local people who have some talent to come on out and showcase that. All they have to do is enter. It's on our website or call our office at the fairgrounds to find out how to enter. And there's cash prizes, which is kind of a nice yeah. a nice one. So if, if you've got some great talent to share, come on out and try. You might go home with some money. Yes, how fun. Any other thing for entertainment that you want to highlight? I didn't mention it, but bingo is always very popular. Oh, yes. It does cost to play bingo, but it's pretty cheap. And I know you can sit and enjoy and you might just want some money doing that too. I think it's like, so, a, yeah. like a quarter a card. Yeah. It's pretty inexpensive entertainment. Yes. So a lot of people love that. And again, this manual that they have right in the fair office is going to have all of these times and dates and all the information that you need will be here. So, all right, one last thing I'm gonna ask you, what is your very favorite fair food? Oh, probably the ice cream. The ice cream? <laughs> you agree? We have to pace ourselves. We might have to have it once a day, but pace ourselves. Okay. <laughs> I'd have to say cheese curds. I mean, that's, <laughs> since we've been here, I've been staring at that cheese, uh, that yeah, cheese curds food truck over away. there, so. I usually yeah. try and pace myself and sample a little of them, but we have a lot more food vendors this year than we've had some years. Good. So That's I think there'll be food. some good surprises and I'm not even exactly sure what, but there'll be a variety. All right. So. And there's also, I'm, I see a beer garden over there for our 21 <laughs> and older crowd that wants to have a nice cold beer. That's here too. So, well, thank you, Tana. Thank you. Thank you. It was Hope nice. to see you at the fair. Yeah, yeah, come, come out to, to the, the fair. fair. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and listen to our podcast on Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcasts.